Today I'm going to show you how to create a texture pack for Minecraft Java Edition. First you want to go to Minecraft Wiki and go to the version that you want to play in and um, download the client um, file. So it's right here. Now go here and um, convert it to a zip file once it finishes uploading. So I already have it so I'm just going to delete this. Might say might become unusable but ignore that then um copy the assets folder so um and put in the downloads folder so again i'm going to copy assets and place it in the downloads folder instead of putting it in downloads you could also put it in your own folder as i did after it finishes uploading then enter the assets folder Delete the realms and um the other file and leave the Minecraft folder. Then enter it and um you should see several tabs. Delete all of them except for the textures folder. This is where we'll change the texture of um uh um the blocks, the entities, etc. So um after it finishes deleting, enter the textures folder and um. Um, you can edit the blocks. Just keep in mind that you should only leave the folders that um you um want. So if I am only editing the acacia logs one, then um you should only have the acacia logs file there. So um you can edit with Paint 3D. And so right here I'm gonna add a 2D shape. Um, so I'm gonna add a square right here and um. Now, um, if I were to save this and load it into Minecraft, then um, the Acacia Log would have a black square. You can do the same with the others as well. Now let's move on to the entities. Now you can edit them, and for um zombies, um, you can upload your own skin. Just keep in mind that um, you can only edit husk and zombie. You have to make sure that it's classic and it has to have no other layer. So um, that's a requirement. And um, they could just do the others. If I am only editing the zombie, then you should only have the zombies folder and the zombie files. Now that we have um, our textures ready, like the, the black acacia log, we can now um, add the, do the final step. So first add a new text document. And now change txt to be mcmeta and name it pack. So um, after you type mcmeta, it might say it might be usable, but um, that's how it works. So um, then, um, edit it. I'm using Visual Studio Code. I recommend you use it or anything that can edit the MacMeta file. Then, um, you're going to, um, paste the MacMeta file layout. So, here it is. So, you just copy it and, um, paste it. You can find it on the Minecraft Wiki and, um, this number is the pack format and, um, the number depends on what version it is for. So, um, now one is for um 1.6.1 to 1.8.9 versions, two is for 1.9 to 1.10.2, and so on. So here's the list if you need it. Um, you can pause the video. For my resource pack, I'm gonna change it to nine because this is for the new 22w14a snapshot. You can edit the description however you want. Make sure it's at max two billion characters, and um, now we're done with our MacMeta file. Now, um, I quickly want to show you my own, so, um, it is called OG980 Texture Pack, and, um, you can see the MacMeta file and assets, Minecraft textures, um, and, um, for the GUI, I changed the, um, my, I made the GUI's colorful, as well as your own inventories, and for the entity, I made chests 
have Christmas textures as well as change textures for the zombies so that they match my own skin. If you want to see my um, 34 MLGs video, um, you can see it. I used that skin for that video and um, for the chest. Well, I made it have Christmas textures for only the normal chest, not the trap chests, however. So, um, that is how you make a resource pack in Minecraft. If you liked the video, please make sure to like and subscribe because, according to YouTube, only 12% of you fellow viewers who watch my videos are actually subscribed. 2,000 subs, I may even do a main hunt series like Dream, a survival series like Shulkercraft, or a hardcore series like SB737.